Hi, my name is Bob Grinier. I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project, and I'm here with Hank Urian in his dungeon. Uh, <laughs> look at the chains on the wall. Uh, and uh, he's going to describe the anode and the pass through for the main electrode, other than the wall of the tank, which is all at ground and the negative potential, and how uh, he developed that system. So here we go. What do you got here? Uh, the anode stem. Mm -hmm. And you can screw the anode on the, the bottom. Mm -hmm. And um, everybody understands that you have to get the anode through the cathode, because the cathode is this whole metal case. Mm -hmm. So the potential difference is between, it, it is very high between the anode and the And that's the problem that, that you get, um, how do you call it in English, the over, the, 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 the flesh over. Mm -hmm. Or a flesh through. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I started with these stops. The, these are how do you call this in English? The for the electricity system. The uh, oh, it's a, it's just a ceramic uh, sort of a, a I, flash retarder or yeah, whatever right. they call them. <laughs> and yeah. but this is ceramic, so mm -hmm. you would expect it to hold mm -hmm, back mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. the, the high voltage, but didn't. Mm -hmm. I had to replace a few of them because the the high voltage was going straight through it. Mm -hmm. So this was a problem and I finally replaced it with a bigger one you can buy for electric fences for farms and so on. So this is a bigger one. This holds out very well. But then there is another problem. I used insulation over the whole anode stem. That worked fine. But after a while, when all the sooth is settling down somewhere. The soot, yes. The soot, it becomes an. Um, it, bec it becomes conductive. So the current flows back and you get also problems here in the beginning. So what I found out is that when you take a second tube, mm -hmm. glue it on this one, you get a double insulation and it works fine. Now I have. A, so I have another one in the tank and it is uh, working all the time without any problem. Mm -hmm. So this was the journey to find the best solution to have a, a very reliable solution to uh, to have an anode. And, and what is this? I mean it looks like an angle grinding disc. Yeah, you cut it in two and <laughs> accidentally the hole is the same size so you glue it again so it doesn't get sucked into the tank. <laughs> so this is a support system and then and, and, and are you effectively sealing that with more of the glue? You're making the well, angle the, grinding disc actually sound? Yeah, How are you doing no, that? no, no. I, I, in the beginning you think like doing it like that, but you have to seal it from the inside. So the, from the inside you right. seal it and that's enough because this hole in the tank is the same as this one. So you okay. can seal it from the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, then in the end it's very simple. So this is very easy to replicate. So I challenge you to replicate. Very good. <laughs> Thank you very much. See you in the next video.